Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer. A normal window has the shape of a semicircle atop a rectangle so that the diameter of the semicircle is equal to the width of the rectangle. So what is the area of the largest possi possible normal window? And we know that perimeter that is about 45 feet. So we draw this one in here. And the next one, we have a semicircle in here. So I will put that is about F, F, that is the length, width. And we know that the diameter of the semicircle is equal to the width. So we need to know perimeter of the perimeter of the window that is about F plus L plus width and a half semicircle. So that should be about C divided by 2. So about C. We know that that should be about 2 or B. Because this is a half, we need to multiply by 1 over 2. We know that or that is about the radius of the circle. So that should be about 2 multiplied by D divided by 2. Ah, we just divide number 2 in here. Sorry about that. So we know that D equals to W. So we put W in here. So we simplify and we got about W. So this one we have WP we put in here. So we have B that is about 45 to L and W now I will put this one go to the left and we divide both sides by number 2 so we have like this Now, we need to find the total area in here. The first thing, we need to find the area of the rectangle that is about L with W. And the second one, that is about a half of the circle. So, the area of this one, that is about W divided by number 2 everything to the power of 2 multiplied by b. Later that we need to multiply by 1 over 2 because this is about a half of a circle. So we simplify and we have like this about L. We put this one go in here
so we need to expand this one so we have like this This one minus this one, we have negative W square B over 8. Now, I will put F of W equals to this one. Now, we need to do first the derivative of this one so this one we have number one this one we have number two w so two divided by two we have number one this one we have two w number two divided by a we have w b over number four so i will put this one equals to number zero so that means this one equals to number zero now I will put this number go to the right So W and W, we can do about factorization. So we divide both sides by this one. And number two, multiply this one. After you got W, we can go back to this one. So we put this number go in here here and here so we can calculate this one And this one too. And this location too. So, we put all the numbers go in here. We got 2025 over A plus 2B. After we put in calculator, and this is the answer. That is the end. Thank you for watching.